Q106.5. Straight from Nashville. It's country music news. The heroes of the coronavirus pandemic were the real stars on CMT's Celebrate Our Heroes last night. Teachers, nurses, grocers, farmers, entrepreneurs who stepped up to deliver what America needed to stay running over the last 12 weeks. But Kane Brown closed the show with a peaceful performance of Stand By Me. Love it. Nice. Uh, sitting alone on a bar stool in an empty room. What a sweet way to end the show. Yeah. Uh, definitely worth your time, especially if you're at work, to Google that one. Yeah. Carrie Underwood releasing a new album this year. Yes, Whoa. yes, yes. Whoa. Get ready for Hark the Herald. I knew it. <laughs> oh, I knew no. it. The first <laughs> Noel. Uh, it'll be a Christmas album, her first full-length Christmas album ever. Really? Uh, and she really? said it'll be out in time. Well, of course, it'll be out in time for the holiday yeah. season in 2020. <laughs> All right. What is your favorite song so far this year? We're almost halfway through 2020. Wow. Oh. Think about that. <laughs> oh. Taste of Country has a top 10 songs of 2020 so far list. Okay. Wow. Um, should I give away number one? Go for it. Uh, no, we're not going to give it away. Oh, do you have any uh, thoughts uh, of what it is? What do you think? My uh, favorite is One Man Band. Uh, mm. Not in the top ten. Of course not. Chasing <laughs> You. Huh? Chasing You. Uh, Chasing You is at number ten. Okay, all right. Nice. <laughs> you uh, up there? Uh, yeah. Monsters is awesome. Uh, Monsters is not there yet. But that's I have drawing. terrible taste in music. No, no, you don't. No, not at all. Not at all. There's got to be uh, like a ton of Luke Combs in that. Yeah, uh, I would think so. Does to me is at number nine. Okay. Maddie and Tay die from a broken heart at eight. Whoa. Chris Jansen's done is seven. Gabby Barrett, I hope, is six. Runaway June, We Were Rich oh. is at number five. Miranda Lambert, Bluebird, four. Yeah. Sam Hunt, hard to forget at three. Keith Urban, God Whisper Your Name at number two. Hmm. Number one. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, how do I so now? I'll just have to tell you. <laughs> Blake Shelton, Gwen Stefani, oh, nobody you but go. you. Wow, a lot of really recent songs. Yeah. yeah. Well, I suppose it's, the year is the battle. It just feels like it's <laughs> yeah. been forever. Yeah, it feels like it's been three years, oh, right? But man. there you go. So uh, that list, by the way, is at uh, tasteofcountry.com. And let's, let's go on with another list since it's Throwback Thursday. Who do you think spent the most weeks at number one in the 90s? Which artist? Oh, my. Gar Gar Gotta God. Be Garth, Gotta be right? Garth, right? Gotta be Garth, right? Gotta be Garth. Nope. Garth is at number three. Brooks and Dunn? Vince Gill. Br Brooks and Dunn at number four. Ah. Clint Black at number five. Wow. Alan Jackson at number two. I'm glad we don't have money Reba? on this. <laughs> no. Not uh. Reba? Not Reba, no. Joe no. Diffie. Huh? Mm. Joe Diffie? No. Ah. Not, our, not our buddy Joe. Wow. Uh, number one. Most time at number one in the 90s, George Strait. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why did we not think oh. of that? <laughs> King right. George. They call him that oh. for a reason. Oh, boy. Wow. All right. I'm <laughs> poor Paul. I, I am retiring. Cindy Paul. <laughs> yeah. Paul's head just exploded. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a mess in this studio. Paul's head is absolutely... <laughs> Exploded. Oh. All right. There you go. <laughs> well, I was working in country music in the 90s. That's just shameful that I didn't but, know that. But, but that's what happens in this. You know, you just you don't recall yeah. and, and everything gets mishmashed and whatever else. You yeah. know, well, there you go. Wow. All righty. More at tasteofcountry.com and Q1065.fm.